and welcome back to Fox 23 News. I'm Nicole Menner. The Southern Miss baseball team hosted the number four ranked Ole Miss at Trustmark Park last night after a strong weekend series with Western Kentucky. But the Golden Eagles couldn't do much to stop the Ole Miss offense after a six run second inning. Starter JC Keys gave up six runs on six hits in the frame, including a three run shot from Ole Miss's Chase Cockrell. The 11 3 loss marked the fourth straight time Southern Miss has fallen to the Rebels. The Golden Eagles continue their road swing with a Conference USA series at FIU on Friday. USA Baseball released the Golden Spikes Award midseason watch list yesterday, and pitcher Nick Sandlin and outfielder Matt Walner of Southern Miss both made the list. The watch list features 40 of the nation's top amateur players from the college ranks and will award the 41st Golden Spikes Award to the top player in June. Sandlin currently holds a 4 0 record after a 1.29. ERA after eight starts while Matt Walner had a 355 batting average in eight home runs, three of those being grand slams. The NFL officially released its 2018 preseason schedule today. The New Orleans Saints will play their first game on the road in Jacksonville against the Jags. Week two, the Saints will return home to host the Arizona Cardinals, whom the Saints have a perfect 5-0 preseason record against. Week three will send the Saints to the West Coast to face the L.A. Chargers for the second consecutive preseason. And New Orleans will close out with game four at home against the Rams. Preseason may be here before we know it, but first things first, the NFL draft just a few weeks ago away. In Fox 23, we are having our very own NFL draft party. You can see all the info here. The party is the night of the draft, April 26th. All the fun will begin at 6.30, and you can follow my Fox 23 on Facebook and Twitter for all of the details. The Atlanta Braves were visiting Washington for their final game in a series with the Nationals. The Braves fell in the first two games and entering today, the two teams were both tied for second place in the NL East with six and five records. Trouble coming for Atlanta in the fifth when starting pitcher Brandon McCarthy ran to cover first on a grounder, grabbing his shoulder in pain there. It was his non-throwing one, but would end up being a partial dislocation, so he would leave the game. And now on to what would end up being really the start of the game, the ninth inning. Nats down 2-1, but Matt Adams launches a solo home run to tie things up and push extra innings. So here we go in the 11th. Braves catcher Kurt Suzuki sends one to the left field corner and it would just hit the seats for his second home run of the day and the Braves would take the lead. But hey, it was a day game. No one was in a rush to go home so the Nats wanted to keep things going after a Howie Kendrick double, bringing in Bryce Harper from second base. So things all tied up again at three. The Braves though, finally getting their moment in the 12th with a bases loaded Hit for Peter Borges, right field. He would score two runs, excuse me, and the Braves end up winning things five to three. In keeping with the Braves, they have a new training center in the works in Southwest Florida. The facility will feature over 6,000 fixed seats and 2,500 general admission spots. It will be expected to be ready for the Braves by the 2020 spring training seasons. Fans for now can see a virtual tour, and it was worth $100 million. So it should be really nice. I've never had that. And don't we all just love a good old baseball brawl? Tempers yes. flaring over in Denver as the Rockies and Padres were wrapping up a series. Padres pitcher Louis Perdomo threw a pitch behind Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado. And he wasn't happy with that, so he charges the mound, throwing some haymakers, and the benches cleared out. A full out brawl there in Denver. Yes, so everybody I'm involved. sure we'll be seeing some suspensions from that one. Yeah. Yeah, Something I heard about like that one. That, that was the first uh, big one of the year. But definitely not the last. No, definitely one. not. Probably won't last. be. No, probably <laughs> won't be. Hey, back to the Braves. Where was their spring training before? Because that was that's my hometown where they're moving to, and they, they probably were not, just built a new one. They mm -hmm. were. They, I don't think they were in Southwest. Were they in Southwest Florida before? I'm not sure. Oh, maybe but they were. That one looks really nice. I know the Southwest Florida has the Twins mm -hmm. and the Red Sox, but maybe they have the Braves too. Yeah, and I'm sure it'll bring a lot more fans. 